What's up, YouTube? George Silver Hunter back with a $25 bank wrapped penny hunt. And as you can see underneath my box, well, actually, before we get to that, I have, as usual, already opened the box. I've already checked. We do have a circulated box to get through today, so that's always exciting. There's nothing worse than finding out you've got an entire box of 2021 pennies. But what I had underneath it was these were some books that I had bought last year. I've kind of been really, really bad about filling them in. Part, I mean, this book in particular, this is the 1909 through the 19, really, 41. Um, I've only found two wheat pennies in that time frame, so this one is pretty empty. But uh, what I was saying was that the last year of me doing penny hunts, I was really bad about taking anything and actually filling out this book. So in 2022, what I'd like to do is actually continue filling out this book. You can see from 41 through really about 56, I have very few. From 56 on, I filled in a good deal of the book. And what I've tried to do is really only fill it in with nice pennies. Um, I don't think I'm going to follow that scheme completely moving forward. I'm going to try to just get the book filled with the nicest ones I can find. But I'm not going to hold out looking for fantastic looking pennies. Um, and you can see here in the modern years, I did an okay job starting to fill that in. But obviously... From 2002 on, I should have no issue getting this filled in. Um, obviously, this also stops at 2013D, and we're in 2021, so I need to get the latest book so we can fill in the more current years. But anyway, uh, we will be filling this in today. I will pull all the coins that will go in there. I'll show you how many of them we found before I punch them in. And of course, uh, we'll be looking for wheat pennies and uh, Indian head pennies and any kind of DDO or error that is in the document and the description I have down below. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into this box, starting with roll number one. I will bring you in as soon as we find something interesting. We are on roll number seven, and we have our first official find of the hunt, we got ourselves a wheat penny. Looks to be in okay shape. It is a 1941 Philly. There is a DDO on the 41 Philly. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not exactly sure where it is. Uh, typically it's in the word liberty when you see DDOs on these pennies or it's in the word in God we trust, which I don't see, or it's in the date which again, I don't see. So I think we just have a standard 1941 wheat penny. Very next roll, and what would a penny hunt be without finding a little Canadian copper? We got an 1873 Canadian penny. So I had actually stopped for a minute going through this box of pennies to start rewrapping some rolls, and it got me thinking how I typically rewrap rolls, and that is just to stuff the wrappers and weigh them, and once they weigh what I think they're going to weigh, or what they're supposed to weigh, I close them up. So, like, for instance, a roll of half dollars, once you get it to around 225 grams, you know you have 20 coins in it. Unless you've got 90% silver, but nobody's putting 90% silver back into a 50-cent wrap. So, I was weighing the pennies, and I thought, you know, I bet we can weigh a roll, and based on the number of grams it is, determine just how many copper pennies are going to be in there. And that also tells us the likelihood of there being a wheat penny in there. And so I did a little bit of monkey math, uh, you know, back of the napkin math here, and hopefully you can read my ch chicken scratch uh, and see if you guys can follow this. But zinc pennies weigh about two and a half grams, so with 50 of them in there, it's 125 grams in a roll, figure about a gram for the paper. So a typical bank wrapped roll of zinc pennies should weigh about 126 grams. The average copper penny weighs 3.1 grams, which is 0.6 grams more than a zinc penny. So for every 0.6 grams over 126, we should have one copper penny. So let's make sure you can see all this. I just did the math from 126 to 134.5 and figured out how many wheat pennies you should have in a roll. So, you know, once you get over about 131 grams, you should have 10 coppers in there. So, for fun, I took out the next nine rolls, and let's just weigh these together, and we're going to open one of them to see how close I am. That's 129.2.
135.2. Let me put these guys back away. We're going to open that one together and go through it and see just how much copper we got. And apologies, I know this is a little bit of a break, but it just tickled me while I was doing this. And I wanted to see how close I was on the math. So opening the roll, it's got a lot of really brown edges and some dirty. So we could have some just heavy, dirty zinc coins. So let's see. I'm going to go through them like this because it will be a little bit faster. And if I can't read the dates, the other thing I do just to make things go faster is I just throw them on the scale to see how heavy they are. So 1991, 96, those are all obviously zinc because they're current year. All right, that's got a lot of crap on it, so that's 3.2, so that is one copper. And it has so much crap on it, you can't read the date. I might be able to get that off with some water. So 97, I'm going to look at for the double ear. We've got a 74, two coppers, an 81, three coppers, it's an 80, that 81 and that 80 look pretty good, it's a 72D, it's an 82 zinc, I'm putting my 82 zincs aside because I need to, I need to look at the small date versus large date. Um, and I don't know off the top of my head from looking really, really quickly. I think that's an 81. So I uh, have just been putting them aside so we can look at them later. That was a 76. 2002, there's an 80. Can't really read that one. I think that's a 69. That is a 69S. Let me look. Is that one that I'm trying to... Uh, find 69s that is one that we're looking for the book so i'm going to put that a little bit separate that's going in the book i need that one we've got a couple more here so 77 94 73d can't really tell it's a 95 no ddo 19 that is definitely copper 1982D, looks like a 1970, no S, so we don't care about the, is it large date or small date, there's a 79, and a 79. So let's see how far off we were, keeping that one separate, that's one, I think I said we would have at least 16 or 17 is I think what I said. One, two, well that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen coppers in a roll. So if you're hunting a box of pennies and you want to see which ones might be gold mines, throw them on a scale. Uh, print yourself out or write yourself up a little table like this. And you'll be able to tell which rolls are heavy and which ones are light. So all those ones that are in that kind of 129 to 130, I'm going to find seven or eight coppers. That's seven or eight possible wheat pennies. All right, let me get back to it. So we're on roll 25. These are actually still some of the same rolls we just got done weighing. And sure enough, we did find a wheat penny. This one was forward facing. We had a 1957D. And this is one uh, of the book fillers we need. It's not in great shape. But it will do for a book filler. Uh, if you're curious where we're at, <laughs> I've got a big mess up here, so apologies. We have one other wheat scent. We have that Canadian. I have two of the uh, formative years, 2009s. We have a professional life. Everything you see up there, as I think I said in an earlier clip, is a potential book filler. They're all years we need, but I have some duplicates up there. And I've got a pretty good little cup of copper going, and here's the latest stack of copper. So... Anyway, it's not been a hugely eventful bunch of, um, of uh, pennies. Oh, these are just kind of stunners. These are just really nice uh, coppers that we've run across, and these will probably be upgrades in the book, but we have found some really, really nice ones. That's what this little pile is. Uh, anyway, that said, it's not hugely eventful. We're not finding a lot of errors. We are finding a lot of copper. I hope the wheat pennies pick up.
We are really deep into this box. Just got through, or just got an opening, roll number 39. And we have found our next wheat penny. It was forward-facing. It is a 1953 Denver. Uh, got a little bit of gunk on it. It's seen better days for sure. There's the reverse. But wheat penny, number four. Same roll, several coins later, we have our, our next wheat penny. It was reverse-facing. Let's check it out here together. It's a little beat up here on the back. 1950 Denver. So wheat penny uh, number five. We'll put him up there. We're going to have to move our, our stunners over here. Got some really nice coppers in this box. So same roll, several coins later. You can see we're about halfway through. And I have never found one of these before in any denomination. But it looks like we have a blank planchet. It does not look like it's been scraped off. It doesn't look like somebody took you know a chisel or road rash to it. It looks like a blank planchet, and it is a copper blank planchet. Pretty cool. Well, this is the roll that just won't uh, stop giving. We have another wheat penny. This time we have a 1946 Philly. Pretty cool. That is now six wheat pennies on the box. So we are on the next to last roll, and we are on another wheat penny. This is going to make it seven, five, six. This is number seven on the box. You watch my last penny penny video, we only found two, so this is quite an improvement. Let's see what we have here. We have a 19, looks like a 42D. We don't have that one, so we're just going to put it up here on the board, and I'll do a recap of all the dates and what we're going to fill the penny book with here at the end, because we only got one more roll to go. So, we have finished off that box of pennies. Everything you see in the back here, starting really with 19, what is that, 65... Uh, the bottom row is 60s up through like the late 80s, and then we have the 90s up through 2013 on top. These are all, uh, you know, going in the book. They're either book fillers or potentially uh, replacements. Most of these are actually empty dates, though. They're, they're holes in the book. Um, there may be a few that I put up here just because they were really, really nice, and I'll see if they'll upgrade anything. Outside of that, we'll just start here and work backwards. We did have one Copper Canadian Penny. We had three of the 2009 Professional Life um, pennies, and we had four of the formative year uh, 2009 pennies, and at least two or three of these will go in the book because I'm missing all of those. We did end up with, uh, what was it, I think seven wheat pennies. We had a 41 uh, Philly and Denver. We had a 42 Denver, a 46, a 50 Denver, a 58 Denver and a 56, I'm sorry, 57 Denver that someone scratched some lines in. Um, and then we had a whole bunch of just stunners. Some of these may replace coins that are already in the book, but these were just really the color, the shine, uh, really, really nice wheat pennies. These will definitely, uh, we'll check these against the book to see if we get any upgrades. And then I had a couple over here that I was going to check for large date, small date, um, 60 and 60D, but I've done that before. So I'm probably just going to throw those in the copper bin. And then, of course, my very first blank planchet find in a penny box, which I think is pretty darn cool. Outside of that, we had a whole heap of copper, which I will put on the screen right now. I think it was a little over $10 worth of copper. We had like 1,160 grams, 1,166 grams of copper. So that is a huge copper haul in that box. But let me go ahead and get all these things punched into the books and I will show you what we look like now. So we weren't able to make any progress in our 1909 to 1940, so this book still remains really empty. I think I've only got one, I got two coins in here. Now I could raid some rolls of wheat pennies that I, ha that I got from like my mom, that I could probably fill in a lot of this book, but I really wanna reserve these books for coin roll hunts and coin roll finds. And I know I did a bunch last year that I didn't go back and fill these books, and I don't want to really mine those either. I want to do that live this year here in 2022, or at least on video with you guys here in 2022. So um, everything you see in here either came from one that I showed off during a video last year, or it's going to be new for 2022. We did make a little bit of progress here in the 1941 to 1974 book. I don't recall all of them that I punched in. Um, but we had a number of upgrades in this book, and I believe all seven of the wheat pennies found a home in this book. So um, a lot of progress here. We filled in almost this entire, actually we filled in the entire last page of this thing, and I know we upgraded a few 
of the coins. And as you can see, we've got some really nice ones in here and some really dingy ones. So I'm sure in future hunts, we'll see some additional upgrades. But uh, made some progress here. And the biggest progress was in this 1975 to 2013 book. Um, as you'll see as I open this up, we are almost done. Surprisingly, it's the later years that we're missing a bunch of coins from. Uh, it wasn't that we didn't find 2009s or 2010s. We just couldn't find the Denvers in a lot of these. We had lots and lots of Phillies, just not a lot of Denvers. Of the later years, like in the 80s, the only thing we missed was an 84D. And it's possible that I had a couple of 84Ds in that box and they were just so grimy that I just still tossed them back anyway. But we had a couple of upgrades here. We were able to fill in all of the 82 zinc and copper large date and small date varieties. Um, so that was kind of nice. But uh, we'll continue to look at these books as we do penny hunts throughout 2022. And of course, I need to get book four because we have to fill in from 2014 to 2022. Um, so we'll be doing that as well. So I got to go get the uh, fourth book in the series. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this penny hunt. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, I sincerely thank you because most people don't. Uh, most people only watch about 40% of a video and Lord knows where that 40% is because they skip around in it. But if you're here, thank you so much for making it to the end. If you haven't already, please consider heading down to the uh, underneath this video and clicking on that subscribe button and then clicking on that bell and selecting all so you get notified each and every time I release a video like this penny video. Um, I hope you had fun. I know this is fun for me and that's why I do it. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. You guys take care and I will see you in the next one.